very much. Thank you. Don't get your prostate checked, fellas. Your first exam is when you're 40 years old. 40. Go get it done. Early detection is the key. True story. Listen up. I was 39 at the time. One of my good friends turned 40 a couple months before me. I said, look here, man. We get old. We look good on the outside. The stuff going on the inside, we can't detect. I said, man, it's time. Go get your prostate checked. He got mad. Hell no. Anybody put their hand in my behind? I'm a man. I'm a grown man. I ain't getting that done. I said, dude, it's time. Go get it done. You could be a dead man. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I got to get it done myself, and I got to think it's just my luck. I get a doctor with some big hands like Shaquille O'Neal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I went to the doctor one month before my 40th birthday. I had a complete physical from head to toe. I had a female doctor. She ran all these tests. Came back with my results. Mr. Jones, you in great shape. Great health, blood pressure, cholesterol. Everything is just fine. Then she asked me, have you had your prostate checked? I said, no. They told me when I'm 40. I won't be 40 for another month. She said, well, we can check it today. I'm like, hold on now. Because <laughs> this ain't something you tell a man right then and there. We got to prepare for this mentally. So now, I'm trying to get out of it. I'm like, Doc, I need to wash my ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> so she's like, ain't no problem. I got these rubber gloves. I'm putting these robes on, put this, put this robe on, I'll be back in three minutes. So now I'm nervous. I ain't never had nobody violating me like that. So I'm pacing around, okay, get it done. Early detection is the key. They find out something, they'll be able to take care of you. And she's a female doctor, and she got little hands. And women children when it comes to this type of stuff. So now I'm feeling a little bit more confident, right? So now I'm trying to help to stretch out with the procedure. <laughs> So she came back in. Mr. Jones, we don't put your elbows on the table. This only take a few seconds. So I went ahead and put my elbows down on the table, put a little rope up in the back. I heard her messing around in the drawer. So I peeked over my right shoulder. She grabbed this big tube of KY jelly. Damn this squirted half the tube on her hand. I'm thinking, that's a good thing. She's gonna be extra gentle, right? Wrong. It felt like she put her whole hand up my behind at 100 miles an hour. Wham! Said, you get mail, right? <laughs> and then they start talking to you like you want to have a conversation with them while they're handing it. She's like, Mr. Jones, do you feel like? Oh no, always got a stranger's hand in me. Yeah, I feel like. <laughs> as fast as she put her hand up there, y'all, she snatched it back out. <laughs> but the glove was still stuck in there. <laughs> so she grabbed the glove. Gave me a napkin this big and said, wipe yourself. <laughs> I got half a can of grease back up my butt. <laughs> you gonna give me a little bit of napkin this big. I need some rag with some soap and water on it. I pulled my pants up, my underwear stuck all in my butt. I gotta walk in the lobby, people looking at you. You can't give up your butt when people looking at you. You walking out with that hands-free walk. Y'all know that walk when you try to get your underwear out your butt without using your hands. You walking out like this. 